Benedict and in today's video I'm going to be doing a little study with me type of video. I have a physiotherapy test that I'm going to be writing on Thursday and today is Saturday, it's about 3 p.m. So I thought why don't we study together? Maybe you have a test that you're going to be writing, maybe you're doing a revision, maybe you have some schoolwork or an assignment that you need to do and you need some type of motivation so we can all study together. So like I said, I have my physiotherapy test on Thursday and it's going to cover the three blocks of my second semester. I'm in third year, so my second semester blocks are going to be cardiopulmonary physiotherapy, um, musculoskeletal physiotherapy, and also um, orthopedics. I just finished my orthopedics block on Friday, and tomorrow on Monday, I'm going to be starting a new block, which I'm kind of nervous about, but yeah, I'm going to be starting NMS tomorrow. So I thought, because before you start a new block, you usually give you like a 10 minute test at your placement. So I thought since I'm going to be writing NMS on Thursday in the physiotherapy test as well, and I'm going to start the block tomorrow, I can just start studying NMS first, um, so I can be prepared for the block as well. So I'm going to be doing NMS first, and then I'm going to split out the rest of the sections throughout the week. I'm going to figure out how to split everything else equally because I'm going to be going to clinicals in the morning. So when I get back, I can study the rest of the section, and hopefully by Thursday, I will have covered a decent amount. I'm kind of really nervous because there's a lot of work to get through and I feel like I wasted until it was really late to start studying. So yeah, fingers crossed um, I get work done. The plan is also to study for about two hours, take like a 30 minute break and study another two hours or so, so go in that type of routine. I have a really um, short um attention span i get distracted really easily so i try to keep it as short as possible even with two hours i struggle sometimes but i'm going to try to push today and um hopefully you guys you know feel motivated to study when you're watching this so without further ado and without making this introduction too long let's get right into it okay so i have my file here In this file i have all the notes from the whole year so i have all the lecture notes all the notes that i've made um for all the blocks of first and second semester. So I sorted out my NMS notes, which is what I'm going to be starting off with.
so it's been an hour into my study session so far i've finished about two sections in the sports lectures i've done ankle injury then i've also done knee injury it's kind of taking a long time i thought i'd finish earlier or i would have covered um some of these sections a little bit faster but i feel like it's important that i take my time just because the stuff that i'm reading now is um i'm obviously going to be tested on it so i just want to make sure that i actually understand it as much as the situation of cramming so yeah i'm just going to continue and see how far i get into the coursework so like i mentioned earlier um i said that tomorrow i'm starting my new clinical block i'm going to be doing nms so that's neuromuscular skeletal i'm going to be going to tambo memorial hospital so nms is basically an outpatient department where people come in with different types of injuries like shoulder pain knee pain hip pain ankle pain that kind of thing and then you do your assessments and then from your assessment you um, obviously get the history you, get, you find out what the issue is and then you give them um, the treatment that you've planned so the patient comes in probably like a 45 minute session i'm guessing i don't know <laughs> i haven't been there but from the little that i know i guess it's like that and then they go home and the interesting thing as well is that this block i have my unseen um, exam so i'm really trying to make sure that i understand this section really well and i understand like what i'm supposed to do when somebody comes because one of my fears is like somebody coming in and then they're explaining their problem and i'm just there like i don't really know what to do for you so i'm really scared of that so i'm just trying to make sure that i properly understand and allow myself to be able to figure out you know maybe what the cause of their problem is and then from there figure out the steps to um helping them with that so yeah i'm excited but super um scared as well from the people that i've heard who've been in that block it seems to have been quite challenging or some people have said it's challenging i don't know um but yeah one eternity later Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yo, today was so terrible. Day one of NMS, and yo, guys. Ah, okay, so today was day one of my NMS vlog, and I went to Tumble Memorial, which is a great hospital. Like, the people there are great. The supervisors there are amazing and whatnot. Everyone is fine. But the fact that I was so unprepared so we got there and she gave us the whole you know the whole tour of the hospital gave us um she went through the admin you know where to do what where you get what you know the whole procedure of how you do things at the hospital great and then she's like okay you guys have um you guys have a patient already booked for 10 and 11 and I'm just like I'm thinking day one like you know day one maybe they're gonna go easy on us and I should have known better because I, I'm in my fifth block why do I think they're gonna go easy on us? Why do I not think I'm gonna see patients the first day? I don't know, but I just wasn't expecting it, and I was I was very unprepared. I did read um, some of the stuff, but like NMS is there's so much content, there's so much stuff. So I only managed to read only a little bit. Like I think I told you guys yesterday, I did like ankle and knee, and after that I just I didn't do anything else because I was really tired and whatnot. So that's how much I managed to do. But the thing is like even when you read like you can read the theory but when it's time to apply the things practically it is not like what you read like yesterday i read ankle and today i had a patient who came with an ankle with ankle stiffness and i did not even know like okay so she came with ankle stiffness and i did like an assessment okay this is where the problem starts the fact that i was unprepared i had my assessment form but you need to know like you know you have your form, you need to know what questions to ask and how to use your findings to direct you to get the treatment. But because of the fact that I did, I had a form but I didn't really go through the form beforehand, I don't know, because I just didn't think I was going to have to see a patient today, so I was planning to do that maybe today when I got back, but because that's my patient today and I didn't plan it, I was just trying to finesse the whole situation basically. That was what was happening today. Me not knowing what the hell is going on doing my assessment the patient's telling me okay i've got pain when i do this i've got pain when i do this and i'm just thinking mm. i don't know i don't know like i don't even know like the patient's talking to me and the whole time in my head i'm just like the thousand things are moving through my mind like 
what tests am I supposed to do? How do I use my assessment to direct me to a, a treatment? What do I do? How do I stop the pain? How do I treat the pain? Bear in mind, they've taught us all these things before, but like, you have to understand that the content, the content of work that we get is so much that you don't always get time to like remember and revise all the other things. So like, you could be an NMS and you think, okay, um, let's say I wanted to treat this patient doing massage or let's say ultrasound, for example. They taught us ultrasound in second year, but I don't remember what how to do ultrasound. Like I don't remember what settings to do, which frequency, all those, all those, all those things. I don't remember those. So I may have like an idea what to do, but it's also like the technique, you know, you have to go back to that technique. If I wanted to do manual therapy, I don't remember what grade to do what. So it's like there's so much stuff and it's like I don't even know like how to remember all the things and how to apply them. So yeah, today was it was hectic. So I had that one lady with the ankle, then I had another guy who came in. He had like a he came from ortho, so he had an ankle fracture, and this was like months. I think like a month, two months after his operation. So now he he has crutches, right? Complaining of pain in his knee. Ah ah ah! Doing my test, doing my test. Ah! I just did, you know what? For both of them, I just ended up doing some exercises. I had to figure out on the spot exercises to do for them because. I was thinking of doing heat, I, you know, I can't remember how to fold the towels when you do heat, you know, I don't remember how to do that, so I'm like, okay, I can't do that right now, I don't have time. I have an hour with each patient, you have an hour to do your assessment, to do your treatment, to write double soap notes, and then you have to book this patient for the next thing. And all, all of this in an hour, and bear in mind that the supervisor wants you to do a full assessment, and I'm just like, how am I going to do a full assessment and do a treatment and do notes in this amount of time? Like, it's not possible, right? So that is what happened. So, like, I had my pa my second patient. I saw them at eleven o'clock. By twelve o'clock, I wasn't even done yet, and I still was trying to write notes. I was trying to book him for his next follow-up appointment in two weeks. And after that, it was past twelve o'clock, and we finished twelve o'clock. Right? And then the bus comes half past twelve. So now it's already past twelve o'clock. I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, I need to finish this guy quickly. And then after that, I still need to go and do stats. So now I have to go into my statistics and I'm stressing through my statistics because I'm like, I don't even know how to do this because it's a new hospital. All of them do their statistics a different way. So I'm trying to figure out how this hospital does their statistics, what, what, what. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to miss the bus, I'm going to miss the bus. And then we talk to our supervisor, she's like, okay, it's fine, you guys need to take your statistics home in case you've missed the bus. You can do it at home and then bring it back the next day. I'm like, oh my god, because I don't even know where to, I, would, I don't even know what I was going to do because I'm really not trying to meet, I'm, not, I'm really not trying to lose. I'm really not trying to miss the bus, okay? <laughs> Yo, but guys, NMS, NMS OPD, mm, 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 it showed me flames today. Nah, 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 I need to go read my books. That's what I need to do now. I need to go and read my books thoroughly. Because tomorrow, somebody might come in with shoulder and I, I, I don't know anything about shoulder. They taught us, yes, but they teach you things. But do you remember what they teach you? No, you don't remember those things. So I'm have to go and read my books and try to understand those things because at the same time, like, I'm not trying to give patients below, you know, par treatment. I'm trying to give them proper treatment to see effective results. I don't want to be there doing any ineffective, ineffective technique. You know, I want to be able to ensure that if they have pain, I'm dealing with the pain. I'm treating the problems. So, you know, that's what I'm just trying to. Uh, that's what I want to be able to do. So. Yeah, guys let me just go read my books like i'm so tired i got home not even like 10 minutes ago um i want to go make some food to eat and yeah go and sort out my life after this but guys thank you so much for watching my video um if you haven't subscribed yet please do click the subscribe button um please remember to give this video a like and do remember to turn on your post notifications so that when it, so you get a notification whenever i post a new video thank you so much to all of my subscribers i really appreciate all of you guys and guys have a lovely rest of the day bye